Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Adidas Adidas Speed 350 Pro Training Gloves. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so today we have the Adidas Adidas Speed 350 boxing gloves. We're going to be doing a close-up weigh-in and review on. And this is uh, Adidas' newer line of training gloves they released um, that uses full uh, genuine leather, premium leather here. And this is their black and uh, gold color scheme that you see here. Velcro closure, you can see it says Speed Pro 16 ounces on the back uh, with that gold Velcro strap. You do have their Adidas logo. This was sitting in my gym bag at a weird angle. And I think there was something pressing against the leather there. So you see the little indentation. Uh, but the Adidas logo, you can see the actual leather itself has kind of a, a, a semi-gloss sheen to it and uh, has a pretty nice punching surface. This is a multi-layer foam glove. Uh, padding on the inside wrist as well as ventilated holes on the thumb and on the palm. A smaller grip bar, wish that was a little bit bigger. Just kind of give you guys a close-up of the stitching as well. Inside uses a nice tricot uh, moisture wicking liner on the inside. Just to show you guys that. Double stitching throughout. There's the attached thumb on that. And you can see the kind of the punching surface from the side angle. And the density of this is definitely more on, uh, I'd say, the medium to firm side. Initially, I thought these were injected molded foam gloves just based on the actual appearance of the gloves, the way that the the uh, punch surface kind of rolls over and has more of a rounded look. But these are actually uh, layered foam, which I love compared to IMF. So um, just to kind of show you guys the padding right there over the knuckle area. So you can see some of the, the leather has a little bit of slack over some time of using it. Um, I don't know if that's a commonality, but I wish that the leather was bonded a little better to the foam itself because over a period of time that wrinkling could become an issue especially over the knuckle area you might start to see the leather stretch out a little bit um, but overall one of my more favorite adidas gloves i've used and obviously i'll go over the reasons why here in the review but let's go ahead and weigh these first these are their 16 ounce version so let's see if they're on weight so the right glove is right at 15.7 so pretty close to 16 and the left glove is at 15.7 so they're all you know almost on point with being 16 ounces and they're the exact same weight to each other so let's go ahead and do the review hey what's up guys carlo here and today i'm going to be doing a review of these adidas at a speed 350 pro training gloves got mine in the black and gold color scheme 16 ounces velcro closure it's a velcro closure only glove size wise you can get anywhere between 12 to 18 ounces and color-wise, you can get it in the black and gold you see here, uh, white, red, and blue, as well as all white and all black. So shout out to Box Up Nation. Uh, they're the company I purchased these gloves from. Now, this is uh, one of Adidas' newest glove models. They, they came out with the several uh, glove models in their newest range of gloves. Um, these are meant to really compete with some of the more mid-range mid to higher-end gloves out there in the market. Um, they had their hybrid, ver ver you know, they had their hybrid gloves that in my opinion, didn't do very well. You didn't really see too many people purchasing. Um, they're kind of their entry level budget end gloves. Um, and for the ones that I did try, they just were kind of uncomfortable, very stiff gloves. So they came out with these new style gloves and I'm actually pretty impressed with these overall. Now, my first impression when I first saw these, I thought they were an injected molded foam glove just based on the actual shape of the foam in the glove. But these are actually a multi-layer foam glove. Now, looking at the actual construction of the glove and the overall design, I'd say this has a medium sized profile. It's not overly huge and it's not super small and snug, uh, but you can see that it actually looks pretty nice. It does have this all black leather construction. You can see that the leather itself uh, looks more of like a kind of a, a semi-gloss look. It's not super shiny and it's not dull uh, or matte. You do have this gold Adidas logo on the back of the glove, as well as a full three and a half inch Velcro strap that's full wrap around. That has kind of this gold metallic uh, that's on that as a nice little extra touch right there. So definitely like that. The other thing I do like about the Velcro that they use on here is they use this more of this um, this newer style Velcro material that's not as like scratchy. 
as some of the other Velcro you see on other boxing gloves. So it does the same job as far as attaching onto this, this surface right here, but it doesn't have that same scratch of material you find on some of the other gloves. So you do have that full wraparound Velcro strap. It says Speed Pro 16 ounce. And then on the palm side, it says Designed in the USA. Uh, that standard made in, or should I say, genuine leather tag that they have there. You do have, I'd say about three quarters of an inch of padding on the inside wrist. So they've done a really nice job of, of really putting a lot of padding all around the inside wrist, up to around the palm. So it kind of busts a U-turn right here and then kind of comes it back around. So it's really good. Get a little bit of extra padding right there for parrying shots, so that's nice. And it kind of makes a U-turn again and comes back down. So you get a good amount of padding. Uh, and then you have some firm density uh, padding on the back of the wrist, which is about half an inch. Inside is a tricot liner that's really smooth and comfortable. Uh, you have the tags on the inside there. These gloves are made in Pakistan. You can see that there and um, just kind of gives you the date of production. These were uh, May of 2019, so they're a little over a year old from the date of production. So, um, And then you can also see the actual liner has the Adidas logo that's kind of in stamped into the liner itself. Uh, you do have a smaller grip bar, which that was a little bit bigger. Ventilated holes on the palms and fingertips as well as on this gold thumb and attached thumb right there. So overall, pretty cool looking glove, uh, not too crazy. I mean, Adidas has been around forever now, so we're all familiar with the logo and how these gloves look. Now, the quality of the gloves are actually pretty nice. Um, the only issues I would say with this gloves would maybe be some of the stitching, but and some of the leather, actually, the slack of the leather kind of coming loose. Um, that's another issue that I kind of found after using these gloves for several weeks now is the leather. You can feel that it has a little bit of slack to it, and I think that's from just for me using this on the bag. There's some indentations here, and that's just from me having to sit in my gym bag. I think this was pressed against like my tripod or something. So uh, that's nothing as far as a glove quality goes. That's just me putting it in my gym bag. But you can see the stitching on the edges. Looks pretty standard for a Pakistan made glove. You know, fingertip is tucked in nicely right there. The stitching, the symmetry of the stitching is all nice, all double stitch, no crookedness there. On the little U right here on the palm, piping looks clean. This metallic gold looks really good, no flaking. Uh, the thumb looks pretty good. Attached thumb looks nice. Area where the finger, uh, the index finger meets the thumb. Inside of the stitching looks pretty good there. No bubbles or any issues with the actual foam bubbling or having any kind of uh, foam uh, imperfections from hitting the bag as of yet. You typically see that more in molded foam, but this layered foam is actually held up pretty well. Uh, the back of the hinge point where the back of the glove connects to the wrist is stitched in nicely. Again, full length of Velcro on the back of the wrist. The cuff and the piping looks pretty clean. No issues with the actual inside liner tearing or any exposed foam on the inside liner. Uh, you can see that the Velcro strap is attached nicely, nice and firm to the side of the glove right there. So overall, pretty good construction. No issues with tearing, rips, any fraying of any of the, the threads. So overall, it looks pretty good. The leather looks pretty good or no imperfections with the leather either. So overall, pretty nice quality for these type of gloves, especially since it's quite a big of a jump in quality and performance from their entry-level Adidas gloves. Uh, now, comfort of the gloves, you put these on. It's a really nice feature of this glove. You slide your hand in here and you can make an excellent fist. Nice deep finger pocket. I do like how they put this nice comfortable piece of neoprene on the fingertip right here to cover the stitching but it really lets you hunker down on your punches and it really makes you uh, really ball up a really nice tight fist. It almost kind of reminds me of like memory foam in a way when you really roll your finger and you can really hunker down on it. Um, the Onyx X Factors had kind of a similar feel. Thumb placement feels really good, no issues with jamming, no excessive amount of padding on the back of the thumb to where it feels like it's pressing and numbing your thumb out. Uh, making, I can make a really good fist and the inside liner is nice and comfortable, has more of a silky feel to it um, and very comfortable, no issues with it being too rough or, or having any issues with there being any kind of um, gaps in between where my knuckle and the foam could, touches against my knuckle on the inside of the glove. Wrist support feels really good as well. The fact that they use about three quarter inch of padding on the palm side, as well as that denser foam on the back, really get a nice uh, sensation and feeling of your wrist being locked in. And the balance of the gloves as well. So let's go check out the balance. You can see they're a little top heavy. They're not, I mean, they're not like those gloves that really just sag down, but they're, 
these are definitely a little bit more front loaded you can see there so you definitely have a little bit more of the gloves front loaded with the weight so a little bit more balance would have been nice but not terribly bad i mean i've seen gloves that are worse than that where it just completely drops and there's no rear support especially in the midsection part of the glove but overall not too bad uh, protection and performance is probably the best feature of this glove using this for the bags at first i didn't think i would like these gloves um, just kind of based on the shape being more rounded off i'm not a big fan of, of kind of rounded off gloves especially when it comes to this punching surface uh, but after i broke these gloves in you can see that they come in kind of a semi-broken in feel they're not exactly stiff but they're not super loose like a, some of the you know the puncher's gloves that you'd see where you can really open and close your hands uh, but once i really broke these in i'd say about a week into using these gloves on the bag i really became uh, really fond of these gloves I, I feel like they do a really nice job of protecting your hands and the way that the the multi-layer foam really compresses down when you land a really good shot especially on denser heavy bags i noticed that on some of the more denser heavy bags that were a little more solid when you hit it they didn't give have as much give these gloves really perform nicely you got a good crack out of it you got good protection the way that the, the multi-layer foam compressed was really good and I, it kept me wanting to go round after round with these gloves i didn't feel like i wanted to just take them off and, on, and put on a different pair of gloves so especially on more denser bags i feel like this glove does a really good job and it really shines um, because you can really put a lot of power in your shots and you're really not worry about damaging your hand your knuckles your wrists so they perform really nicely get a good crack out of them um, and the foam density really helps with that uh, with it being a little bit more on the firm side you don't really feel like your knuckles really kind of punch through the foam padding uh, and you get that sensation of, of, of maybe needing like a gel guard or a knuckle pad to give you a little bit more protection now, cost-wise, these gloves are $129, so $129, you know, $130, um, which is right there with a lot of the gloves in the $100 to $120 price range, um, I, which I think is a fair cost, or should I say a fair price for a glove like this. Um, you know, granted, I'm sure you can probably catch a discount code or some kind of sale and get these for lower, which is even better. But uh, $129, I think that's a fair price considering the full leather construction. The, the layered foam you do get a little bit of metallic with the gold on here so you get that, that little extra nice touch of color um, and the gloves perform really nicely and protect your hands pretty well so overall I think it's a fair price uh, a good glove for the price range uh, construction is pretty nice uh, protection is really good comforts there so a good all-around glove so if you guys have any questions or comments make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Adidas boxing gloves I'll see you guys next time. Peace.